no one, literally no one is excited as I am, guys. The first thought that came to my mind was, OMG, when I seen this a couple hours ago. From Whale Alert, a billion USDT minted at Tether Treasury today, guys. And there we go. Why? Paolo the Legend returns, right? When they print, when they start printing again, guys, and minting fake um, fake USDTs out of thin air, you guys already know what that means, right? Fake supply, guys, means we go high, higher. Now, going straight into, into Ethereum and altcoins, guys. Exactly, right? That seems to be that seems to be the case because, uh, meaning that this amount will be used as liquidity to pump the market ahead of the ETF news, right? So I'm guessing they're getting prepared already, guys, and the bears are about to, I don't know, go back into hibernation mode here soon, right? Um, the bears have been scared for so long now, guys. I mean, they probably have trauma by now because, look at this. It seems like, <laughs> even Circle, guys. 250 million USDC minted at USDC Treasury. You just can't make this stuff up, guys. Now remember, even if a portion of this goes into altcoins, we're going to be flying, guys. Right, literally flying. And it seems like Donald Pump confirmed all season. Not Donald Trump, guys, because Donald Donald Pump is now pro crypto. Why? Not just pro cryptocurrencies, guys, but Pro altcoins. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen, guys. Justin, Donald Trump's presidential campaign officially accepts Bitcoin and crypto, guys. You can't make this stuff up, right? So basically, Donald J. Trump over here, guys. Um, let's see here. Now accepting crypto. Demonstrating President Trump's success as a champion of American freedom and innovation. We proudly offer you a chance to contribute to the campaign with cryptocurrency. Saving our nation from Biden's failures uh, requires your support. As Biden piles regulations and red tape on all of us, President Donald Pump um, stands ready to embrace new technologies that will make, you know, um, America leapfrog again, basically. Right? And, and, and this is the most important piece to this whole puzzle now he could have just accept bitcoin okay he could have just accept bitcoin guys but this is what's awfully strange to me nobody else will say this except us instead he included bitcoin ethereum solana uscc xrp whoa xrp hold on a minute folks confirmed once again from the revelers huh then we got dogecoin um another coin and shiba inu guys now What's fascinating about this is that he included altcoins, right? He included altcoins, guys. Do we not see? Which means alt season is here. It literally is here, guys, right? We don't have to wait any longer. This is what's fascinating. What's even more fascinating is this is happening before, or I guess he came about with he came uh, with this type of news around the ETF approval, right? Donate now, and you, and you guys can see all that stuff, guys. Fascinating numbers as well, right? Why would he choose these numbers? Um, but, but this is definitely interesting, guys, right? Oh, wow, look, look, look at the phone, guys, right? That's insane. I can't believe XRP is right there, guys. That's so beautiful, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, it's interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so that's definitely huge news, right? Most definitely huge news. What's even crazier to me is this right here, guys. Remember, talks about all season right they are accepting altcoins just perfectly right it's all timed perfectly you can't make this stuff up guys they they do time it correctly because things can escalate quickly guys from tech dev the fractal this is excluding the top 10 guys right this, so this is all s coins meme coins crazy coins that de 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 uh, degenerate coins guys and basically this was um from the previous cycle or no the 2017 cycle, guys? Wow, that's insane. Interesting. We're getting confirmed again, guys. That's what I think. I think the cycle hits is like more so similar towards 2016, right? 2017. Because look at this. We had a... we So we broke out, right, of this um, cup or rounding bottom, guys. We broke out. We held support, right? And we blasted off and we came back down, right? To retest, guys. And then we just flew out of there. Right, so what if we what if we do this uh, something similar, right? So we pump like this, guys. Something crazy, right? But then we come all the way back down, right? Like that, 
this part is probably the black swan event guys and then head towards 2026 like that right crazy trillions upon trillions of valuation guys so things are about to go crazy it seems as i'm super excited let's go right remember this is all happening as soon as the charts look like they want to explode higher right so ash crypto comes about my targets for the next 12 to 14 months he's talking about crazy uh, prices except for xrp three to five dollars here's my prediction for I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say end of cycle okay not before the black swan but end of cycle i think bitcoin over 300k or about 300k um ethereum probably even 30k guys bnb thousands of dollars solana probably over a k xrp 90 dollars that's what i'm hoping for dogecoin definitely above a dollar guys um right maybe a couple dollars the reason why i have these high um high expectations guys is because for one mere observation before it collapses recessions and depressions things need to explode to unimaginable heights guys right bitcoin can honestly head towards 1 million i don't know before the collapse xrp 90 dollars right ethereum 50k 30k i don't know it depends on how high bitcoin can, can go though check this out from al pal one more thing i've been talking about for a while what the hell happens to the price of ethereum if there's a big demand for the etf and 30 percent remains staked off markets wow right crazy and burning makes supply deeply negative as as activity rises that could create a bananas zone squared guys which means ethereum will probably head towards 50k end of the cycle I'm, I'm guys i'm not making i'm just i'm just literally pulling um numbers from thin air so i'm kind of making stuff up guys at least these the numbers um the price predictions right because how could you even call the top right of an asset it's completely difficult guys but the reason why i have these high price targets it's because of one simple fact again it's i believe the collapse happens after the cycle which means one thing these crypto prices will probably have to go diabolical guys right to crazy heights crazy euphoria and everything guys now which which means people are going to get lured in everyone will right the penguins room for growth even they're seeing a, a modest rally with the peak still ahead guys right now um it's it's likely it, it likely it likely repeats its mid-cycle correction with the two to three zone akin to previous cycles mid-cycle correction huh price prices have room to grow and a cycle peak for this bull run is further out they're stating it as well guys further out right i'm thinking end of 2025 maybe in 2026 guys the behind the scenes conversations they don't want you to hear institutional adoption of crypto is happening faster than anticipated guys right that's what i'm saying guys there's so much money waiting to be um going into waiting to be uh waiting to enter cryptocurrencies right and people are still bearish i don't get it well, let's go. I, I'm assuming that the audience wants to know what it's what are the key so what's, and the key so what Please. is that global institutional adoption is tracking much faster than you would think. If you read the press, you would think blockchain and crypto these people that have created things like Bitcoin and Ethereum, and they're building DeFi and NFT platforms and other things. And you would believe if you read the press that the big asset managers don't need it and aren't involved. They are of the top 50, 52 percent of them. That's more than half have a digital wallet or some digital custody or digital trading offering already in place that includes every chinese large bank because they needed their digital wallet support to support ecny which the digital yuan and so on 42 percent of them can already offer you and handle digital monies which includes cbdc's like ecny that i just mentioned but it also includes stable coins for example a tether or a circle and about a third of them are also beginning to get involved in digital assets or digital commodities which includes the bitcoin etf so the black rocks and the fidelities of the world have already launched their uh, bitcoin spot etfs but there's a whole world of other people, including people with names like Goldman Sachs and Citibank and JP Morgan, who may be saying they're very anti the space, but in practice, they're very actively involved underneath the surface of the BlackRock, iBits or ETF. So again, they may be saying, I'm JP Morgan and we don't really need any of this. But the truth is JP Morgan or Goldman Sachs or Citibank is actually building a business right now that's built on top of distributed ledger technology or Bitcoin and blockchain and other things. If you have a moment, you can download it for free on the homepage of our website. And certainly if you're out there talking to your friends and your friends are saying, this isn't real, there's no, no use cases, the world of finance and commerce doesn't need blockchain, this is evidence. This is fact-based evidence that uh, argues the opposite side. Exactly, guys, right? So we're waiting for all this adoption and everything to come into place, guys, and people are still bearish. I don't get it. We're literally heading into a new world. Not to mention Justin, president, uh, presidential candidate, uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. buys 24,000 worth of GameStop GME and says he supports the retail rebellion, guys, right? Which you guys already know the the standard of this right here, right, of people going against them is literally Bitcoin and or cryptocurrencies as a whole, which means this is another narrative for cryptos to skyrocket, guys, right? It, it, it's the most simplest thing ever. 
Now, people will say, oh, the Ethereum ETF, uh, what's that going to do? Well, check this out. Anticipated ETH ETF will trigger bullish trend for Ethereum, guys. Right? Nobody else is ready. In 2024, the cryptocurrency markets are expected to outperform broader equity markets, right? Exactly. Cryptocurrencies will literally eat all stocks and everything, guys. Anticipated for launch, anticipated Ethereum ETF will trigger a bullish trend for Ethereum. Ethereum's liquid staking, currently the ecosystem's strongest narrative, is expected to gain substantial traction. Exactly why? Because you see all this money, you see all this money pouring into Bitcoin, guys. Right? BlackRock buys four thousand uh, Bitcoin. Second wave is happening, guys. Just recently. Well, the same thing is going to be happening with Ethereum. As soon as it gets it gets approved, guys, and it's going to literally blast off into outer space and to the next dimension. Vanex bot, ju this just happened. Vanex bot Ethereum ETF has been listed on the DTCC uh, under ticker ETH V, guys. Right there we go. Then Ethereum ETF applicant submitted amended 19 B fours, so it's happening. It seems like Standard Charter Bank says it's, it expects SEC to approve spot Ethereum ETF this week. Let's go, <laughs> please. And guess what? They are 812 billion. Um, right 812 billion guys and it also expects a net inflow of up to 45 billion in the first year with ethereum reaching in eight thousand dollars by year and I'm, I'm i'm falling off my chair my my price target was 7k guys they upped me they're saying 8k what before the black swan i don't know but this thing is about to go explosive the ethereum etf is not priced in folks exactly the same people are i've been seeing on twitter oh it's priced in everything no it's not wall street needs the ETH, ethereum uh, etf product in order to buy ethereum exactly check this out now and, and that um ignites all season remember a catalyst and this this right here not to mention um i was gonna say something huh i forgot is that hmm I forgot guys, but if they could buy Ethereum already, they would have not need an ETF. They cannot buy yet because no ETF. Oh, this I remember. It's buy the rumor and then you want to buy the news event, guys. Right? It's a rare event that happens one in in hundreds of years or like a thousand, guys. It's a law. It's a ra very rare, rare, rare event. Same thing happened with Bitcoin. Now it's about to happen with Ethereum, which will trickle down too, giving the green light to every altcoin out there. The reason for the Ethereum ETF is because there's massive demand, guys. Same pl playbook as a Bitcoin ETF, exactly. Right, and nobody else sees it. Nobody else sees it, guys. Um, SEC informs exchanges it is leaning towards approving spot Ethereum ETFs, guys. Right, and Fidelity files um, removes they remove staking as well. It, it, it seems staking seems to be the last obstacle, and it's going to get approved, guys. So they're trying to figure that stuff out. But Ethereum just flipped two massive companies, right? In altcoin, literally did this. Imagine all our other other coins soon, guys. I'm super excited. I can't wait. <sighs> All season is literally here in probably a couple of days, guys, right? Hopefully, it, it, it gets approved. It seems like Donald Pump is on our side as well. Things are going. The banks are on our side. Guys, it's, it's, I'm super excited. It's about to get pretty crazy. Let's go. What is guys? So, if you guys, see ya.